gentlemen, we've got some breaking news tonight out of the Gold Coast in Australia. Yes, we've just been treated what? to... Uh, yes, I know, international news tonight. <laughs> um, <laughs> going all the way over to Down Under. And uh, we've got some news coming out of Movie World um, in the Gold Coast of Australia, where we have just uh, learned of... Now, we've, we've been seeing... Now, I don't know about you, Danny, but I've been following uh, uh, the uh, the big project for 2017. I, I had no idea this was going on. You had, like, no you idea. were telling me, oh, I've been following this for months i'm like wait wait when are they opening this isn't this late like have they started building it you're like yeah they have everything done but the lift hill and i'm like oh really like i never i I didn't even hear about this like and i'm I'm pretty good with hearing about stuff like this but so australia australia Australia, mate they're getting a brand new uh mac hyper coaster um and and last or, or this past week we've learned uh, some some more details about it, that we've seen the track going up, the purple and black track um, posted on many different uh, Facebook fan groups down under. Um, but now we actually have some real information here posted by the park. Now, for all those people wondering why are they opening a ride in October of 2017, remember in the Southern Hemisphere, their seasons are reversed. So October openings would be like an opening day down there for the most part. So this is not unusual. And the toilets flush counterclockwise. They do. They do. Uh, <laughs> or whatever. Oh, good Lord. Uh, you are learning a lot here on Coaster Net Update this evening. Um, so, <laughs> oh, my goodness. So anyway, uh, we have. No, this coaster looks awesome, right? I watched a video of this, and you were saying it's got like the Expedition G-Force, like first drop, and then, you know, it's it's got that crazy first drop it's got you know looks like some good airtime it's got some good uh some stangle dives and some crossover hills which kind of remind me of expedition g-force and also of uh the green goliath over at uh wallaby holland i think it is wallaby world has uh, that ride and then also it's got this weird non-inverting loop like you see on uh hollywood rip ride rocket or um the Flying Aces over at Abu Dhabi is the one that, uh, you know, more recently had one of those uh, non-inverting type of loops. And uh, and the big thing here is that, what is it, the last car faces backwards? It, it does seem like that. For the last to, row, at least? Well, yeah, it, the, the, video, the video claims that there will be some seats on this ride that have a backwards uh, orientation to them. We don't know how many seats. Uh, Because it's hard to see in the video. We would assume at least the last row. This is the last row. I think you can pretty much assume it's the last car. Um, You you know, we've kind of seen that on Blue Fire uh, Mega Coaster that they they put the spinning car on the last row um, of that ride. I don't know if it's still like that, but they did have that at one point in its operation. Uh, This is also done by Mac as well. So Mac is not uh, apparently afraid to... uh, to go ahead and do this, but you know, this is ex- the only thing I'm not too excited about here is it has a really strange name uh, that, that, that they are calling it the DC yeah. Rivals Hyper Coaster. Um, now it, it's strange because the track is purple and black. Uh, at the top of the lift hill, we see this awesome, uh, like uh, architectural design, metal design of like a Joker head. Uh, so I don't quite know how the rest of the DC Rivals is playing into this. Maybe each car will have a different theme to it, a uh, different uh, you know villain theme. I don't quite know. I, maybe uh-huh. there's some extra stuff in the station here that we haven't seen yet. Uh, but the DC Rivals Hyper Coaster uh, is quite a, quite quite a mouthful there, and I'm not I'm not sure how catchy it is when, when I think about it. Yeah, but but it, you know, <clears throat> I would agree with you there. It's kind of an odd name, but at the same time. I will give him credit for not calling it like Batman or Joker or, you know, just taking the easy way out. Right. Because, uh, you know, I, I think it's the Warner Brothers uh, movie world. I think there's one in Spain that has a Batman clone. It's called Batman La Fuga, which is Batman the Ride in Spanish. So um, at least they didn't take, uh, you know, the easy way out. But and it's like. At least when we talk about it, we know what we're talking about. Like, it's like, oh, have you ridden DC Rivals yet? Like, at least you know what I'm talking about when I say that, right? You don't have to say which one. So, um, 
you know, a, definitely an odd name, um, at least right now. Again, we'll have to wait and see if maybe, like, maybe if there's a couple different trains, if each train has a different theme, and maybe that, you know, maybe that makes a little bit more sense. Um, I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll see. But uh, from the video and from the pictures that are on RCDB already, l- looks like a re- it's going to be a really cool ride. Um, you know, you and I talked uh, back when SeaWorld was, t- b- before they announced Mako, we thought, um, you know, would they maybe go with Mac? Because because, you know, the SeaWorld and Bush Parks had done some Mac things in the past. So we thought maybe there was a chance we'd see a Mac hypercoaster. Um, not in the U.S. Uh, Australia is getting one. So uh, well, I, I don't know. I'm still waiting for I'm still waiting for the day that a U.S. park uh, takes takes a chance on Mac for something maybe, like this. Maybe that day is next year, Danny Miller. Uh, we still uh, don't know what Silver Dollar City is doing. We saw vertical construction begin, and we're not. There's no consensus there as to whether or not that is a one of those new spinner rides that they have, or if it's going to be traditional, uh, you know, a sit down roller coaster in in the vein of this or, or Helix or Blue Fire. We don't quite know yet, so maybe we are. Maybe that day is coming, Danny Miller. Uh, but one final maybe, maybe thought, it's coming. Maybe it. One final thought before we leave here is you know you know from previous shows that this is a park that I have had a calling to for quite some time. You know that I, I've had the dream yes. of Superman Escape before I even knew that damn thing existed. I had a dream of it. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and now they're building another hyper coaster. Um, you know, I, I, I'm... I'm beginning to feel like I have a calling to Australia to get to this park for some reason. So maybe maybe this will be the ride that puts puts me in that seat to seat on the plane over. <laughs> Well, you know, I'm going to the UK in October, and I always talk about going to Germany and Italy and up to Scandinavia. Um, but you know, maybe Australia's got to be put on that list. We haven't talked about that at all, so maybe, maybe that's one that's got to go on the list here. I don't know. This yes. is certainly uh, certainly will help that cause. Well, as always, thank you for joining us here on CoasterNet Update. We're going to track this one very closely to see when it opens and how, what the reviews are. So, as always, ride on, ride warriors. See you next time, guys.